Hello and welcome to another Wayne Township 4-H Fun Friday. Our activity this week is a firefly magnet. Some people might call them fireflies, some people might call them lightning bugs, but they light up our night sky and serve an important place in the food web. So let's start off with some firefly facts. The Sayers firefly is the official state insect of Indiana. School kids lobbied the legislator to name the Sayers firefly the state insect. Fireflies are predators and they get rid of unwanted pests from gardens. When a firefly lays its eggs, they glow. There are more than 43 types of fireflies found in Indiana. The firefly bioluminescence, the part that makes it glow, has been studied and recreated to make glow sticks, and it's also been used in medical research for diseases such as cancer. Fireflies need our help. The number of fireflies has been steadily decreasing. Things like pollution, loss of habitat, and light pollution have caused problems for the fireflies. We need to leave them alone and let them do their thing so that we can continue to enjoy them for years to come. In your kit this week, you'll have a small wooden spoon, two pieces of black netting, an instruction sheet, an information sheet, a piece of magnetic tape, and a piece of glow-in-the-dark tape, and two googly eyes. Things you'll need to find around the house include a pair of scissors, some liquid glue, and a black marker or brown marker, or crayons or colored pencils would work too. Start off by taking your wooden spoon and glow-in-the-dark tape out of the bag. The pointed end of your wooden spoon will be the firefly's light-up bottom. The rounded top part of the spoon will become its head. Remove the white paper from the glow-in-the-dark tape so that one side of it is sticky. Stick the tape to the bottom part of the firefly. It will hang over the edges a little bit, but that's okay. Take your scissors and trim where the tape hangs over so that the tape is the same shape as the spoon. Next, take your black or brown marker and color the rest of the spoon so that the firefly's body is dark. This type of camouflage helps it blend in with its surroundings. You have two pieces of netted ribbon in your bag. One of them is sparkly and one of them is plain black. Take the sparkly one and tie it around the center of the spoon to make the inside wings for the firefly. The inside wings are used for flight. They're thin and delicate and you can usually see veins going through them. They're actually longer than the outer wings. So take and trim down your wings, but don't trim them too short. They actually fold up inside the outer wings. Next, take the black netting and tie it in the center of the spoon. The black netting represents the outer wings. The outer wings are hard and protective. Fireflies are types of beetles, and all beetles have two sets of wings. Pull your netting around so that your wings line up the way you want them to, and trim the black netting so that it's slightly shorter than the silvery netting. Remember, the outer wings are shorter than the inner wings. Now grab your glue and googly eyes. Little disclaimer here, fireflies do not have googly eyes. They actually have what's called a compound eye on the side of their head. I personally like googly eyes. I think they're cute on crafts. That's why we're including them. Put a couple small drops of glue at the top of your spoon. Then take your googly eyes and place them on top of your small drops of glue. If you have a little bit of glue squish out, that's okay, especially if it's craft glue. It'll dry clear. Now we're ready to attach a magnet. 
it has some paper backing, like the glow in the tart tape did. So all you have to do is pull that off. Turn your firefly over and stick the magnet to the back of it. It may want to curl up some. You can do a couple different things. You can take and put a book on top of it to weight it down, or you can take and put some extra glue on it and put another weight on it to help it stick flat. Thank you to our photo contributors. For more information and activities, visit our website at waynetownship.org and click on Fun Friday. We would love to hear your feedback. Please leave us a message.